Hey, is this your time to the side? Can you please open the door? Oh, oh. Thank you. Of course, of course. Thank you. Come on, let's go and check out this building housing. Hi, Jitanshu. Hey, how are you doing, man? I'm doing good. Thanks for coming. So, here is Ashwin welcoming me to his home and we'll do a tour of his apartment and see how students live in Canada. We are here in Waterloo. So, let's see how students live, how a student apartment looks like. So this is the kitchenette of my house. We have all the cooking equipment here and then here is where we sit and eat our food. So this house has five rooms and all five of us are students. Each room has its own ensuite bathroom, uh, what we call attached bathroom back home in India. Um, we have a stove top, an oven, a microwave. Uh, I have an instant pot for myself. We have toaster, we have a toaster oven. We have a coffee maker, we have a blender, so all of it is here. We have uh, some cabinets for storage, then here we have a fridge. We also have a washing machine and a dryer. Almost every house in Canada has a dryer because you cannot dry your clothes outside during the winter because it gets really, really cold. So that's a good thing to have. The moment you finish washing your clothes, you can just throw it up and it will become dry in 15 to 20 minutes, which is something that I like a lot. Alright, now let's go to my room. So are these like uh, four, five different rooms? Are yeah. Numbering over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Each room is numbered and room number two is mine. Okay, so this is your room and uh, can you just tell us before we enter your room, can you just tell us about this living area as well? Uh, this is the common living area. We have a TV and a couple of couches where we can sit, watch TV, relax, do our work. And also on the other side, we have a gorgeous balcony and the view is amazing from here. And what you see here is the uh, climate control closet or the AC closet. So this is the AC unit and we also have our Wi-Fi routers inside of here. This is the living room where we have a few couches and a television to sit and lounge and relax. This is another closet where uh, we can store our coats, shoes and whatnot. So now let's head over to my room. So this is my room. It's not in its best of states, but so this is what it is. Oh, thank you, Shitanshu. I'm flattered, but I can do better. <laughs> so this is the view from his room. It's quite a nice view, actually. Okay, so can you show more of your room? What amenities you have here in your room? So. This is a queen sized bed and I have uh, some storage closets here where I've stored all my clothes. And then here's a side table where I have a few books. And here's where I have my chargers. You've got a bed, you've got a closet space, you've got bookshelf as well. Then you've got a mini fridge. fridge yes, yes. Okay. I have a fridge for myself. Okay. So you've got a table and chair as well. But let's head over to this place where there's another closet where I hang all my coats and winter wear. Okay, this is the washroom. So is this a separate washroom? Yeah, uh, each room has an individual washroom, what we call an ensuite washroom here in Canada. So you can come in, um, it has a separate showering area. And that's my room. Thanks for visiting. So now we are going to dispose of the garbage. It works differently in Canada. This was something new to me. So we come out of the room and we come to the hallway. Um, you can see closed circuit uh, television cameras here, CCTV cameras here. So this entire building is secured by CCTV 24 seven. So this is the garbage room. 
it has uh, an opening it's called the garbage chute so what happens is we open this and we dump all our garbage inside we bag it and we dump it now let's go and check the recreational rooms the gym room and the bike storage room here we are in the basement of the apartment building and here we have the rec room or the recreational room uh, I can't get in just like that I need to tap in my fob you know Canada works on fobs I tap this in I don't even need to turn on the lights I get in and there you go there are automatic lights in this room we have a pool table we have a table tennis table and we also have a foosball table we can hang out with our friends here and relax so this is the recreation room obviously for students to relax it's very important that you have something to play to spend your time i love pool probably we can come over and sometime we can have some fun yeah we do have a vending machine as well but i wouldn't recommend buying uh, coke from here because it's extremely overpriced $2.25 for this 500 ml of coke it's way way too expensive all right now let's go to the fitness room it's the gym inside of the complex so we have a gym we have treadmills ellipticals I don't come here often because I bike myself and it's the summer it's really good. Uh so uh, we have weights here and I don't know what this machine is and we also have a TV and we also have Wi-Fi in this room. And now we are going to the bike storage room. In my opinion the number one crime in Canada would be bike theft or bike parts theft. So it's really important to secure your bike. So I'm glad that uh, we have a bike storage room. This is my bike. I bike when the weather permits most of the time. So if the weather is good, I bike. So this is my bike. And everyone they've left their bikes here for secure storage. And this room also has a CCTV camera for security. If you leave your bikes outside, there's a very high probability that some parts might go missing. So why take the risk? All right, so thank you so much Ashwin uh, for my pleasure. this apartment tour and uh, i want to know that what's the price of uh, this place like the rent sorry yeah. yeah the rent would be $700 per month plus utilities this is the rent for this place but i'm not paying that much because it's the summer right now from may to august, august. till the end of august it's summer so a lot of students they go on internships and co-ops so all of a sudden what happens in waterloo is a lot of these houses become vacant and there's an excessive supply of houses so house rents drop during these 4 months so i am paying just 400 including all utilities for this amazing place so 400 including everything yeah wow. i just pay 400 flat unbelievable okay so after 4 uh, months like after august what will be the, the your rent 700 700 plus utilities plus utilities and that will be divided in 5 uh, uh, yeah people? among the five people yeah among the five utilities people. utilities is basically the electricity hydro bill, bill hydro yes. yeah so how do you actually find a place like this uh, in waterloo or if you know in other regions of canada as well in waterloo there is this active university of waterloo housing group since waterloo is a university town and 40000 students study just at the university of waterloo uh, it's a pretty active facebook group a facebook group yeah okay. university of waterloo student housing or uw student housing that's the name of the group that's a very good place to look for uh, houses to rent in waterloo and the other place to look for houses is kijiji.ca uh, okay. that's the obvious place to look for if you're uh, looking for a house to rent in canada okay so probably we got to know the rent we got to know how you can find it if you have any questions please comment down below i hope uh, he has been too helpful way too helpful so far and uh, if you have any queries i can definitely uh, you know go back to him or if he has got time he can also come over to the video and comment and reply to some of your queries oh sure sure okay so thank you guys uh, and thank you ashwin i mean that was too kind of you to invite us with the camera into your apartment it's not everyone can do you know everybody has got their own privacy but uh, you doing it for this audience i 
know that my audience wants to thank you so thank you uh, on the behalf of my audience thank you so guys uh, if you want to see more videos like these please subscribe to my channel and please the bell icon so that you don't miss any of those videos thank you so much for watching the video